Many people in America would like to be God. They'd like to be able to tell people how they should live. They'd like to be able to tell people what to do. And they'd like to tell people like you and like me what we should do. I don't know if I've been redundant already, but that's the point, isn't it? That we're trying to be redundant to God. You see, God has a plan for everyone. And that's something that's amazing that you see when you're a pagan. Is that it opens your eyes to what goes on. That God really does know where everyone is and where they're going to arrive in the next few minutes. And God really does know what it takes to change a person's life, but people don't want to do that. They want to live their selfish way, they want to have their free will today, and they just don't give a shit about God. Isn't that pathetic? We sailed across the seas to come to America in the pursuit of God and prosperity. And yet, while everyone is still pursuing prosperity, we've gotten out of the practice of worshiping God. Today is a Sunday, and shops are open, and people are shopping, and where is our churches? Are our churches closed because of COVID, or are they practicing online because it's easier? But over the course of time, things will start to open again, because people do need people. People need to greet people. People need to socialize with people. And even if we do it with our masks on, where everything is muffled, and you're like, what? What did you say? And you're playing the hard of hearing game. The bottom line is that people do need people because people are not God. But God had a plan for you, and God had a plan for me. And when you stepped out of your role of learning about the plan for you from the Lord Most High, and started taking all these other ideas from other people, you might not have chose the right path. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and whenever you get out of source with the Lord is when your life gets off track. But to put your life back on track, you have to be willing to submit to God. And most people, even people of high leadership positions, don't want to submit to God. They don't take the morning time to pray or meditate about the subjects that they're thinking about working on. You see, the best thing you could do is do that. Because God knows every player in the world, every position they have, and every lie they've told. And God knows how to move people towards you or away from you. And sometimes you pull people towards you that are not right for you, and sometimes you push people away that are right for you, and then you monkey your whole plan from God. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the Lord Most High most certainly does know every creature under the sky. And I wish I could prove that to you simpler, but I have had it proven to me over the last eight years' time. That no matter what's going on for me, no matter how challenging my life might be, that I know that God's got me. And every interaction is a new lesson. But I know that my life would be very different if other people had not interfered with the life plan that God had for me and if my love would actually come back to me. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth and take back talk. Taking back talk is being willing to talk about the subjects that are hard, review the topics that aren't easy, and move ourselves into a conversational pattern that allows us to know the truth of God's house in our life.